I'm back in North Wales after a little trip down to London where along with many of my family members and friends I attended the wedding and after-do festivities of my little brother Andy. I say little brother, he's quite a big man actually, not a skinny little fuck like myself. It was a registry office job in Camden. No religious element to it. And I thought it was really good. Nothing stiff or forced or overly formal. Just two people getting hitched in front of 50 or so folks. He's a very laid-back character, is Andy. No nervousness or anxiety to him. And his now wife, Tash, who admittedly I don't know very well. She seems lovely and is clearly an intelligent person. I think they've been together eight years or so, so it's not as if they're giddy kids jumping into this. I get the feeling they're going to stay the course till death doth part them, so to speak. So on the day, I did meet a lot of new people shaking hands, hearing and telling stories, and yeah, it made a nice change from my usual routine. But I'll be the first to admit that I'm not the most sociable person in the world. I'm not one of the guys. I don't particularly like rowdy, drunken crowds. I am somewhat of a loner, by habit, by choice. I prefer my own company most of the time. I don't really see that changing too much in the future. Even though I enjoyed the day, and the revelry, at night for sure. By the time I was travelling back up north on the train yesterday, I was feeling... Some degree of relief, I guess. Mixed in with reflections. I'm not really the nostalgic type. I'm a live in the present with a mind's eye to the future sort of person. But occasionally one cannot help reflecting on the past. I have two brothers, two different personalities to myself and... We've definitely grown apart as adults. We all live in different parts of the country, so we don't see each other so often. And I don't feel bad about that, our growing apart. It's not something that concerns me. I'd say it seems healthy to me that we've all... Forged our own paths, if you'll excuse the cliché there. It was interesting meeting a bunch of people who are a big part of Andy's life in the day-to-day sense. He's a sociable guy, and I get why he's popular. He does like the crowd, he likes a drink, and he has an easy way about him, which people naturally like, as they are comfortable in his presence. I work with a couple of guys who are more similar to my brother than I am. Yeah, more similar personality-wise than myself. All right, marriage. Marriage itself as an institution. Not a fan. It's not for me. A state-sponsored relationship with special perks and privileges is how I see it, but for many people it works out, it works well. So I'm not disparaging married people here. Having said that, I'm glad that traditionalist pressures on people who live differently from the masses have somewhat diminished in recent decades, but They do still remain to some extent. Marriage should not be the only game in town. No. 
And I'm going to end this here before this turns into too long-winded of a ramble. Yeah, pretty much all I wanted to say. So, with that, I'll say goodbye and have a good day, folks. I will see you next video.